Hey, what's going on? Today we're going to be going over how to mine Mysterium cryptocurrency using a Raspberry Pi. Right now I have the 3B. Everyone's got a Raspberry Pi laying around, so if you're not using it, might as well put it to use. You're also going to need a micro SD card reader, and I got a 16 gig micro SD card that I'm not using. So just go ahead and insert into the reader and plug it into your computer, and then you're ready to get started. Alright, so first thing you're going to do is go to my.mysterium.network. Here you're going to find a lot of information about the project. Uh, the gist of it is they're decentralizing the web. And you can do it on Windows, Mac, Raspberry Pi, Linux. But essentially what you're doing is you're renting out your spare bandwidth. So you're earning that missed cryptocurrency while you sleep. So to get started, go ahead and click Raspberry Pi. And then you'll see a brief overview of what the project is about. Uh, basically telling you that it's low cost mini computer helps power the Mysterium network all that good stuff and we're going to be running on the 3B plus but you can also do the 3 or the 4B and if you want you can get a pre-configured one but they even tell you it's a lot easier just to follow their directions it's super simple uh, so to do that we're going to flash an existing Raspberry Pi and we're going to start by downloading that mistberry.zip. So I already got that um, right there. You're just going to download it and then unzip it. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to download the uh, Belena Etcher. Um, unless you have something else to write S on uh, micro SD cards with. I went ahead and already downloaded it, as you can see right here. And then we're going to insert the micro SD card into the SD card reader and connect it to the computer, which we already did. And then open Belena Etcher. And then we're going to select the missberry.zip as the image and select the SD card file as the target. Uh, don't forget you're going to want to format your micro SD card before you write the file to it. So it's a quick process. Just right click and then go to format. And then once that's complete, then you can go to the Belena Etcher and start the process of writing it to the SD card. Alright, so the next step that they have on there is to make yourself a tea and wait for your flash to finish. It's not that long, but it does take a little bit of time. So I went ahead and I'm going to speed it up for you. Um, but this is my second node. I had the first one running for a couple days already. And this one I'm going to use at my brother's house. So that, that's the thing, if you're going to run more than one node, you're going to need another IP address, so a second location is going to be really helpful in that case. Alright, so the last two steps is to plug the SD card into your Raspberry Pi, and then you're going to plug your Raspberry Pi into the network and then power it on. So once it's finished, insert it into the Raspberry Pi, just like that, and then we're going to make our way over to our router, and we're going to plug it in. So you're going to want to plug in the network cable first into your router, then into your Raspberry Pi before you put power to it. Uh, right here you can see my first node running on the 3B plus also. And we're going to take the other end of the Ethernet from the router. And we're going to plug it into this new node that we just created. And then we're going to power it on. So I'm just going to connect this to the um, same network as my existing node so I can configure it. But once it's ready to go, I'll bring it over to its uh, final resting point at my brother's house where it's going to start earning that mist. Uh, as you can see, it's all powered up and it's ready to go. So we'll hop back on the computer and we'll log in. Uh, so first thing you're going to need is an IP address. If you can log into your router, it, all routers are going to vary, but you're basically going to find your Raspberry Pi and see what the um, IP address is that it's it's giving. So once you find it, go ahead and go into PuTTY and you're going to SSH into it by doing the IP address over port 22. Once you SSH into your node, it's just a matter of copying and pasting what they have on their website to configure it. It's pretty simple. And here's a short little video about the project while I'm doing that. So check it out. A node is a device such as a computer or a Raspberry Pi, which hosts a piece of special software that helps power a network. When you run a Mysterium network node, 
It allows you to run VPN services and earn MIST, a cryptocurrency for online freedom. When you run a Mysterium node, you will be running an exit node within a decentralized virtual private network. Encrypted traffic from users across the network will flow through your node, unblocking content that is usually blocked in their regions. For providing this VPN service, you will earn MIST. MIST is the native currency of Mysterium Network. It powers the network both as a means of value exchange between network participants and providing skin in the game to discourage spam accounts and keep it secure from DDoS attacks. There are multiple ways you could run a Mysterium node. We currently support Debian, Ubuntu, Raspbian, and Linux distributions. We will also soon enable node runner software for desktop apps. Why run a Mysterium node? Right now, the internet is managed and powered by a handful of large corporations and governed by local jurisdictions. Running a node means you are helping to decentralize the internet, withdrawing corporate and government control to create a truly people-powered, peer-to-peer internet ecosystem, just as it always was intended to be. With Mysterium, you can help safeguard freedom of speech and information, all while earning some side income. How can you track your node runner earnings? Enter my.mysterium.network. My.mysterium.network is a hub for all Mysterium node runners. You can log into my.mysterium.network, track your earnings for the month, see your position on the leaderboard, check if your node is having connectivity issues, chat with support, and much more. What are you waiting for? Download our node software and start providing VPN services to earn MIST today. Okay, so we got it all configured. It's a short and simple process. Don't forget to change your password when you first start. You don't have to worry about the pre-release version. And um, once you get it done, there's only a couple steps left to finish configuring your node. All right, so now that you got your node all configured, you're going to have to onboard it and tie it to your account. So go to a browser and type in the IP address of your Raspberry Pi and then colon 4449, and that's going to it's going to bring you to the node runner and it's going to ask you for your bounty payout settings so this is where you're going to tie it into your wallet address it is an ERC20 token so make sure you use uh, the appropriate ad, uh, wallet um, using MetaMask but there's others out there that you can use um, if you don't have an account already go ahead and create an account at my.mysterium.network that's where you're going to find your personal token where you can claim more nodes. So right there in the upper right hand corner, you're going to see, you're going to want to take note of that. You're going to add that in a little bit. Uh, but first thing we're going to do is log into our ERC20 wallet. Like I said, I'm using MetaMask, but there's others out there. And once you're in there, um, if you don't have the token already added, you can. But you can see right there, I have a miss set up. And I'm just going to copy this wallet address and put it right into the bounty payout settings. And once you hit next, it's going to ask you to create a password. Um, so go ahead and create a password. This is just for the web user interface. And once you put your password in there, don't forget to click this little checkbox where you're going to claim your node. And that's going to ask for your API token. So go ahead and copy it from your account in my.mysterium.network, paste it in, and don't forget to use a strong enough password. It needs to be at least 10 characters long. So once you get that figured out, then go ahead and get your password set and it'll bring you into the dashboard settings when you're finished. All right, so once we're done, we're gonna see our other node pop online right there. So, it's now registered under our account which is a good thing um, the problem right now is that I have both on the same network and that's not good because they, they're both tied to the same IP address so there's going to be a conflict with that um, but this was just temporary until I can move it to my brother's house if I go back under the web user interface of my first node um, it'll show you your daily earnings. It'll show you the amount of uh, bandwidth that you've transferred, and how long it's been running, uh, how many clients have been on there, and right there, you know, it's, uh, it shows your position under the um, leaderboard, and uh, a lot of good information on there. 
Um, this will show you the individual connections and how long people have been connected and how much you earn from each of those connections. So it's pretty cool just to mess around and see what's, at, what's on there. Um, on the settings, it gives you your identity and your payout address. And you can also update your password if you want. And right now I'm going to try to go into my other node, the one I just created. And sometimes you have to refresh. So here we are. So far it's just one uh, session from one client. And I think it was just a test. Um, so right here you can uncheck this little box if you want to allow more clients than, than just the missed verified partners. Um, it says you're going to earn more by doing that, but it's not as safe. So it's up to you whether you feel comfortable doing that or not. So that's basically it. I'm going to move this to my brother's house, and that way I'll have two working nodes at two separate locations. Other than that, you can check out the leaderboards. They have the residential and the global, global leaderboards, and you can see where you fall on that. Um, you can earn up to 80 mist per month. So not bad depending on the current token price. Um, you know, 80 mist per node for basically doing nothing. You just plug it in and let it do its thing. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you're able to do this. It's pretty straightforward if you go to their website. If you have any questions though, leave a comment. And here's a little update. It's been a couple weeks since I've had both nodes running. And as you can see, the current price at the time of recording is 79 cents per token for mist and my first node has earned around uh, just under 14 tokens and then the new one I did is uh, just shy of three so it's not bad for you know the amount of power that you're actually using on a Raspberry Pi is, is minimal so all right I hope you found this useful if you did I appreciate it if you liked the video if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you and other than that, thanks for watching.